just come out and try it once. You're moving around, you're meeting people. It's so much more fun than I thought it would have been. We're all having fun, we're all laughing, everybody's feeling good with each other. And I think that uh, Peter's created that, that energy in the room for the class, that everybody feels comfortable, nobody feels awkward. We're gonna do it again, same thing. But this time I'm gonna say nothing. After I count it in, you gotta do the whole thing on your own. What we're learning is that everyone can do it and nobody feels um, intimidated by the instructor. So that's, that's huge, <laughs> huge. Yeah, so we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Actually, I talk to a lot of people about it. I say, this is what I do. I play a little basketball and I gotta get in shape, keep in shape, and you know what? Now I'm taking dance. What, you're doing what? Not always throws them, right? I need a social life, let's put it that way. <laughs> I said, well, I tell everybody they should dance. You know, you're gonna have fun. One, two, three, go back. Fifth position, fifth position, fifth position. Three. I needed something to fill the void in my life, and there had heretofore never been any lessons that attracted me to, to, to take anything in Orangeville. We decided to take up dance lessons and then we couldn't find any. There weren't any around. We live in Aaron and there's nothing, you know, around. And then along comes Peter, oh my goodness, and he offers these dance lessons right in Orangeville. So 15 minutes down the road, there we go. Well, that's a great return. You know, every husband and wife should consider it. Spend some quality time together and learn from trial and error. You know, it's one thing, yeah. Did you ever see yourself as a dancer before? If someone had told me 20 years ago that I would be waltzing today, I don't think I, I would have believed them. I may not have either, honey. The best part for us has been doing something together. Because it's very intimate. Step, swing, draw them on. Step, step, turn, quick. Those who haven't danced before, I think it's a perfect way to learn. The way uh, Pete and Kim have broken it down has been uh, very easy to catch on and it's not overloading. We've been dancing about 10 weeks now and now it, it's second nature. I don't have to think about it anymore. So let's move on. Let's do, because uh, I think you're all doing great by the way. That's awesome. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Nobody feels awkward, everybody's having a good time, and we're all learning, and we're all doing great. <laughs> right, one, two, three, four, turn it, five, six, seven, stop, go back, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four. It's like true play or something to get to do it. Yeah. I would recommend dance as like a marriage enrichment. Yes, yeah, yeah, there. for sure, yeah. Well, partly because you spend a lot of years, like we've been married for 18 years, and I just think sometimes you kind of run out of stuff to do. Uh, it was something I decided to do for, uh, for my wife for our anniversary. After 28 years, what do you buy somebody, right? So it was something different. It picks up the mood for sure. And uh, like I say, I listen to the music and it's my warm me up to work and it's, I got up a bad day or a busy day, it charges the batteries at the end of the day, so. I like this two hour class. You get, it gets a little more ingrained in your, and uh, both of you seem to have a lot of patience with us, thank goodness, so that, I really enjoy that. Peter is doing a great job with uh, Wayne, uh, with a lot of patience and uh, <laughs> teaching him and making him feel yeah. comfortable and, and uh, yeah. I'm getting it, yeah. It's fun. I highly recommend it to everyone out there. It's a good cup of thing, you know, and everybody should do it. Spend some good time together and have fun. Great stuff. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, quick, four, eight, six, slow. Guys seem to take longer to decide to try dancing. <laughs> I'm actually hoping that the dancing, getting fluider and dancing might help with my martial arts and everything too. It's just to get fluid and not think and just let your hair down. <laughs> I've enjoyed every minute of it, especially the company, the camaraderie, the fun has certainly added a great deal to the reason I keep going every week. 
no matter what I'm doing, Tuesday night for dance class for me is exclusive. There's nothing that gets in the way of that. I don't, you know, ever miss class, and it's a great way to exercise. And when you come out to practice, you get even more, you know, get the abs going when you do merengue. It's all wonderful. We have a hoot. Everybody's so much fun. Um, we get together. We have parties and you know dance parties like this one here tonight. It's wonderful. You know everybody enjoys themselves. You have a good time. And meeting new friends. It's been great uh, meeting all these people, and uh, that's the social part I like about it. And uh, coming here on my own on Tuesdays and with my wife on Sundays has been a great time. I'm loving it, and it's helped me reconnect with people. And we always change partners, so it's uh, helped me in that way to be a little less. Uh, reserved. We've learned a lot. A mm. lot more than I expected. If you want to really learn how to dance, you got to come to see these guys. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It's fun thing. Yeah. Do what do you do when you're having, ha having fun? You dance. I'll be signed up for the next level. When Pete and Kim are offering more dances, uh, more lessons, yes, I'll be the first one to sign up. It gives you something to do where you go out and you have to be like intimately involved with each other because Otherwise, there is no class, <laughs> and it doesn't work. And I also highly recommend having some good quality gum or breath mints for dance class. Hello, my name is Steve Hazard. For over 40 years, I've been a full-time dance instructor. I didn't turn professional until I was 21. Uh, I worked with the larger studios for about six years, took training there, and then I went on to it myself teaching all day and night. Many people can be wonderful dancers, but teaching is a different thing. It's knowing how to break down the steps. It's knowing how to make a pupil comfortable and learn easy. Most pupils, especially the men, they're gonna be doing the leading, would rather learn a slower pace, know what they're doing and feel comfortable before they do anything fancy. Believe me, most pupils do not want to do competitions or medals or things. They just want to be able to go out to a dance and do a rumba to a rumba, a foxtrot to a foxtrot, and do it properly and enjoy the music and their partner. Sometimes pupils wonder where do the teachers get their information. It's handed down from teacher after teacher and you develop your own. Many of us teachers, by the way, work together. We're like an association, a group of people, and we all swap information. Something new out, it passes among us. So this is where we help each other. I work also with Peter, he and his wife Kim, and they'll tell you the same thing, you never stop learning. I can be teaching for 60 years and I'll still be learning. That's why we teachers get together and rehearse. And uh, that's how we go on with our teaching. So good luck to you on your lessons.